Oh, this is horrendous. I hate filtering. It's not something I really do very often. So I'm on the M20. Uh, it's on a Sunday evening at whatever time it is, quarter to six in the evening. It's quite warm, 24 degrees the end, towards the middle of August. 2024. And I'm trying to get across the Dartford Crossing. I've just been down to see my sister in Kent. Uh, I picked the worst time to come back. Mind you, it's like this coming down as well. I'm following this guy because I thought if I tag on behind somebody, he'll pave the way. I'm being really annoying to everybody by driving with my high beam on in case you haven't noticed. Because uh, whether that's right or wrong, I don't know. Do people drive with a ride, sorry, with a high beam on during filtering? I kind of figured it sort of like makes me a bit more noticeable coming up from behind you. So far my theory is not working out too well because I notice most cars are kind of sitting on the phones in slow traffic. So yeah, but you know, I'll leave it on high beam for now. I'm not blinding anybody as such, am I? That will be slightly annoying to cars in front. But yeah, well, see, this is the reality of um, biking in England. We're well, not even in London. Considering no one's got any money, it seems like everyone's going somewhere or going home from somewhere. You can tell I don't do this very often because I'm concentrating on going in a straight line without clipping anybody's wing mirrors and looking out for possible hazards of people deciding to change lane, which in my head that will be rather foolish. There's a pothole coming up there, I'm trying to miss that one. She ain't looking, is she? Uh, what's she doing? On her phone, probably. Yeah, it wouldn't be very advantageous to change lane if you were in a car. Because um, all three are going at the same pace. I've done that before. I've been out in the van or whatever. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to change lane. And then the lane I've changed into, which looks like it's going slightly quicker than the other ones, suddenly comes to a halt. And then the other ones to the left of me where I was. Look at this idiot, look. Why can't you just like... What the fucking nightmare, aren't they? Dickhead! <laughs> Sorry. I meant, um... Can you, uh... Can you, I... Can you, I fucking move either? Thank you. Thank you. I tried to only road race. She's still sitting there, right, hogging the white line. I mean, some people are just, I seem to have lost matey behind me, let's try and get in this car. 40 miles an hour, and now I'm in front of him. Oh, this don't look very, uh, oh God. You must get better at this if you're used to driving in these situations. I tend to go out to, for, uh, uh, this people in exactly, uh, 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 uh. I can't seem to ride very quickly. There you go, that's better. Oh god, I didn't like that bit. The slower I go, the more I sort of wobble. This is quite a wobbly bike at low speeds. Unlike my KTM, which seems very stable at low speeds in a straight line. Oh. Don't go too mad. Horrendous. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm assuming you must get used to it. Because I must admit, my anxiety level has gone up slightly. Not overly, to be honest. I'm just a little bit more anxious. And the engine heat as well. And my legs is freaking roasting. I am quite warm. Driving at slow speeds. With my Gore-Tex jacket on, with my air vest underneath, and one t-shirt, and I've got my Kevlar-y type jeans on, and my Daytona boots. 
which I love my Daytona boots, they're not they're comfortable as far as motorbike boots go. Cheers, buddy. Thank you, mate. Nice one. So you get you get some that are like he must be a biker because he's even weighed me through. Cheers, bud. Thank you. Some of them are really nice, some of them are not so uh Cheers, buddy. Thank you. I'm supposed to be doing like 40 along here. No more than 40. You're allowed to filter in the tunnel. I mean, filtering, if you're watching this abroad, filtering is legal in the UK, apparently. Um, I know some states in America, but it's not legal. But yes, fully legal here. But now, now we've come to the, uh, oh God, solid white lines, which means you cannot cross a solid white line, like that one there. So I suppose, for the sake of um, unlike him in front being legal, I suppose I should uh, stick to my lane now. Hopefully it'll clear a bit the other side of this. Ah, great. A nice video of traffic. Most of my rides are pleasurable rides where I go out and sort of go, you know, the usual country roads, go to calf somewhere. A nice chill out ride. Ugh. This would be the reality of commuting into London on a motorbike. Oh God, is it really worth it? I'll soon have less money and stay out of London, I reckon. And don't forget it's summer now. So you imagine this in the middle of the frigging night at like minus whatever when it's raining. And, oh God, it must be absolutely horrendous. Hence, not many people do it in the winter. Only the hard and few, which I am not one of those. Anyway, this is the Dartford Tunnel. So going the other way, there's two bridges. So you go over the River Thames estuary to get into Kent. And then to go back north towards Northampton, where I'm going, you go under the bridge. There's two of these. There's a uh, tunnel rather, there's two of these tunnels. One we one used to go this way and one used to go the other way before they built the bridge. Just in case you're remotely interested, why would you be? And this is the toll road. So motorbikes are free and I did double check that and I read it about three times because I got a fine. Oh what an idiot. I got a fine from last Christmas. I think I went down to my sister's on the 28th of December I stayed a couple of days and come back and she said don't forget to pay the dart charge dart for crossing charge, you pay it online years ago I used to slow down, open your window, throw a pound in a little basket and then the barrier would open and on the way simple, easy, you know you paid it now you've got to do it on a friggin on the website so, uh, like an idiot, I went on the website, yeah, I've done it, I've done it, because uh, you've got 24 hours, so it's easy to forget. Six months later, unbeknown to me, because I, I, I do not open my post very often, I, I got a bloody courts, uh, like a court bailiff letter come through. I was like, oh no, what the hell is this? So I opened it, obviously, and um, it was a, bailiff's thing for not paying the dart charge so of course I looked online and thinking it might be a scam uh, check the phone number on the letter against the company details online it looked legit from what I could see I looked up a couple more bits just to ask the question I'm always paranoid about, about, about being scammed um, anyway so I rang the, rang the number and it didn't go through to Mumbai went through to a UK call centre um, or UK solicitor's place or whatever it was and it turned out that I paid for one crossing on the dart charge but I didn't pay to get back now with my van to get over it cost me three pounds so I should have paid six pounds and numpty me which is typical I paid three pounds and being that I had not opened my post and then it went to the bailiffs 
the three pounds that I tried doing them out of turned into 196. So yeah, I had to pay 196 quid. Fine. I mean, that's like uh, ridiculous. But, uh, you know, obviously I paid it, otherwise they're going to come around and steal my telly or something. Um, so yeah, a harsh lesson learned. It wasn't my own stupid fault, obviously, but nevertheless rather annoying. So hence me checking the website to see if bikes are free and then reading it again and then once more for good luck in slow motion actually reading out the words thinking it is definitely free isn't it and it doesn't say it's free on like Christmas day between 2 and 3 in the morning and then you pay the rest of the time so yeah um, it's free after all that waffling anyway I think I'm through the traffic so I just wanted to give you a, a brief glimpse of my misery um, and now I've done that, I shall bid you farewell. So that was a bit of an impromptu video with uh, no thought given to it whatsoever. But yeah, I just thought I'd share the traffic jam with you lovely YouTube people. So anyway, stay tuned for the next one because I will be at the Classic TT next week. In the rain probably. Uh, so I'll hopefully bring you some... Um, I might do... Well, I might. I will do another um, crossing on the ferry video because the TT crossing videos were quite popular for, for me anyway they were, they were my biggest views videos just getting on the boat and getting off the other side so I didn't think they were that interesting but I got a lot of views on it so maybe I'll, because I don't think traffic jams are interesting I might get a few views on that you can never really tell with YouTube it's a, it's a dark art and all that thing so yeah I'll be doing, I'll be doing loads of classic TT videos uh, so uh, stay tuned for them as something you're interested in and um, if you got to the end thanks very much and I'll speak to you on the next one bye for now